Hey, I'm Leah D'Amelio with Mahalo Daily. Thanks to artists like Shakira, we've learned that hips don't lie, so today we're bringing you the truth on belly dancing. Jelena is no stranger in the world of belly dancing. In fact, she is known across the world and has traveled throughout Europe, Japan, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, and Egypt performing, teaching, and learning. In addition to being a master teacher, Jelena is the founder and director of the award-winning Salala La Dancers and has won various awards including Dancer of the Year and Best Dance Company. Today, Jelena is going to tell us more about the history and art of belly dancing and teach us a few moves to try out at home. So first of all, just tell me a little bit about the history of belly dance and how it made its way into Western culture, especially here in the U.S. And it's really popular, um, particularly outside the Middle East, which is interesting. Well, there's a lot of um, different stories of where belly dancing came from, and I believe that there's a little bit of truth to all of those stories. Um, but one of the main stories is that the gypsies brought it down through India and traveled through the Middle East, and as gypsies do, you know, captivating the essence of each culture and people, which created a dance style. What uh, characterizes belly dancing, I mean, it, obviously in the name, it's a lot of stomach movement, right. but what is the sort of uh, dominant body part that, that is used, or just the movement that really says, okay, that is from belly dancing? Right. Um, well, there's a lot of crossover movements through other styles of dance, but one I think the key element of belly dance is the isolation. So whether you're isolating your head, or your arms, or just your hands, your chest, the stomach, of course, belly dance, the hips or the shimmy, um, but probably the most common movements would be what we call the camel or call the undulation okay. or the shimmy. Um, now you said you, you work with a lot of dance troops. Now uh, tonight we're going to see a rehearsal with one of your groups, the yes. Salala Dancers. Salala Dancers, okay. yes. And we've been together a little over 10 years mm -hmm. and it's, I'm, I'm really proud of my company. We started with just a few girls and we've grown into a company of 13 dancers and we're a local LA based dance company that we perform mostly in the LA area. We do some traveling and tonight is a little special because we're, um, we're preparing for a clip that we're going to do for Dancing with the Stars, which is really exciting and it's a huge um, you know, thrill to be a part of something so big and so mainstream. And right. it, that's really important for me as not just a performer but as an educator, to educate people that this is a respected art form um, on the same level as, you know, ballroom and ballet and hip-hop and all the other art forms. All right, now how about this? Do you have to have a dance background to get into belly dancing? One of the things I think that belly dance has become so popular because it's, first of all, it's a low impact type of dance, so people can get into it later in age. Mm -hmm. um, it's also popular for teenagers because of the Shakira videos, things like that. So you have a really wide range age of students mm -hmm. and I think that's interesting it appeals to a lot of people uh, you don't have to have a, a dance background I think some natural ability definitely helps <laughs> and you know it just depends on what, how it makes you feel so I think people should definitely give it a try and, and see how it feels all right and that's what we're going to do right now so let's start with um, a basic move we call it the hip drop so you're going to put all your weight on the right foot okay and you're going to push from the ball of your foot on your left the right arm is up and the left hand is extended out. You're going to have your palm out. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go lift the hip, release the hip, up, and then release on the second one, kick and point the toe. Up, down, up, kick. That's it. Up, down, up, kick. Keep going and really think about using your obliques to lift the hip. Up, and it's a small kick. It just comes off the floor. There you okay. go. So we're going to start with the chest That's, lift. Okay. Push it out. Push the lower belly out and suck it in. Lift, push, push, pull. You, you already have a natural ability. So it cool. just feels it just feels kinda <laughs> it good, feels right? Good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> well Jelena, thank you so much. Oh, those are definitely some moves I'm gonna work on. Thank you. And uh, all those viewers at home, try those moves out and uh, it's a great workout and it's a lot of fun. I feel I feel really good right now having done I those told you movements. It's a feel good day. And it you is. know what? I, I said that some people, it's nice to have a little bit of that natural ability, and, I, and actually, you do have that. Thank well, you. Well, so time much. to get to rehearsal. Yes, let's go check so it we'll out. So, see over there. We're going to try a bunch of new and exciting things. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,
For more information, go to mahalo.com slash howtobellydance.